Recording. Central widget window. Hello everyone and welcome to Step by Zero. Step Start by Mary. Button, control, left. In this lesson 2, I'm going to show you how to use NVDA screen reading software with Microsoft Word. The first thing we must do is launch Microsoft Word program. We do this by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard. The Windows key on your keyboard is usually located to the left of the spacebar. Start menu. Start search edit. Blank. Next, I'm going to press the down arrow key until I hear Microsoft Word 2007. Internet I1 of 12. Email E2 of 12. Launch Internet Explorer Browser L3 of 12. L Webcam Central D4 of 12. Microsoft Office Word 2007 M5 of 12. Since this is the one that I require, I now press my enter key. Taskbar. Document 1 Microsoft Word. Document 1 Microsoft Word Document Edit Multiline. Page 1 blank. I now know that I am ready to start typing a document because it says page 1 blank. This is my cue that I am now in the editing area of the Microsoft Word window. Since I do not want to start a new document at this point, but rather open the previous document that we have saved, I don't want to begin typing at this point. Let me give a quick recap on what the Microsoft Word screen looks like and its elements. Remember, the Microsoft Word 2007 now has what we call a ribbon. On the ribbon, there are tabs. On each of these tabs, there are commands, which are grouped into specific categories. By default, when you open Microsoft Word 2007, the Home tab will be displayed automatically for you. The Home tab is a selection of the most frequently used commands that most computer users use on a day-to-day -day basis. However, the Insert tab gives a selection of other Insert commands that are not available on the Home tab. So let's have a look at how we can hop from tab to tab. Remember, we press the Alt key to the left of the spacebar. Ribbon toolbar, ribbon property page, ribbon tab, tab control, phone tab selected alt page. It has already announced that the home tab is selected and alt followed by the letter H would activate the home tab at any point. Now I'm going to use my right arrow on the keyboard to hop along all the different tabs. As I do so, listen out for the shortcut command. Ready? Insert tab selected alt M. Page layout tab selected alt D. References tab selected alt S. Mailings tab selected alt M. Review tab selected alt R. View tab selected alt W. Developer tab selected alt L. Now I'll use my left arrow to go back to the Home tab to give you an opportunity to listen to those shortcut keys again. Ready? New tab selected Alt W. Review tab selected Alt R. Mailings tab selected Alt M. References tab selected Alt S. Page layout tab selected Alt P. Insert tab selected Alt N. Home tab selected Alt H. So now we're back at the Home tab. Remember, if you want to get back to the editing area of your Microsoft Word program, you simply press the Alt key once again. So press the Alt key to the left of your spacebar. Document 1. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line. Page 1 blank. So you can hear the edit announced and the page number that you're currently on. If I press Alt again, it switches back to the ribbon. Ribbon toolbar, ribbon property page, ribbon tab, tab control, phone tab selected alt H. I'm going to press alt to go back to the editing area. Document 1, Microsoft Word document edit multi-line, page 1 blank. So very simply to switch between your editing area and to access the group of commands that are available in Microsoft Word, you've simply press the alt key to the left of your spacebar. Now I would like to open up the file that we created earlier. To do this, I'm going to press Alt, followed by letter F for File, and then I'm going to use my right arrow 
to get on to the recently used file list in my program. So Alt first followed by letter F. Ready? F for file. Alt. Ribbon to R F New Alt F N. Now the reason it says Alt F N, the first option underneath the file menu is the new option. So if I did want to begin a new file, it's Alt F N. Or for those of you that are already familiar with Word, you can still continue to use your Control and N key for a new file. Now with the 2007 version, the menu that falls down, in fact it's the only menu on the 2007 version. So as the menu falls down, it's now sort of split in half. In other words, it's a it's a long fat menu but it's split with a vertical line so the left half is all the options new open save save as print prepare send publish business contact manager and close and on the right hand side are the list of the recently used files so to get on now to the right side i'm going to use the right arrow Recent document scooping NVDA file dot dot documents NVDA file dot dot salt F one. So that's NVDA file. Next one. NVDA dot dot documents NVDA dot dot salt F two. NVDA. Finger and keyboard command my phone for rest dot dot HTTP slash slash www dot easy links dot eu slash resources NVDA dot dot documents NVDA dot NVDA file dot dot documents NVDA file dot dot salt F one. So what I've done there is I've just used my up and down arrow keys to search for my file. Now when you find the file that you've just been recently working on, simply press the enter key to select. NVDA file dot dot Microsoft Word NVDA file dot dot Microsoft Word document edit multi line page one hi everyone welcome to step by step by Miriam lesson two. If I want to read the entire file at this point, I simply press my insert and down arrow key on my keyboard. Hi everyone, welcome to step by step by Miriam lesson two. Link spelling error NVDA out of link spelling error non visual desktop access is the only screen reader for Microsoft Windows that is totally free yet fully functional and portable. You can download it to your PC or to portable media such as a USB stick which you can use with any computer at school, work anywhere. Link spelling error HTTP slash slash www.mapsess.org slash out of link. Now, if I want to go back up to the very beginning of my file, in other words, I want to activate, I want to move my cursor there, perhaps I want to actually maybe put in a heading or something in front of the first line, then I use Control and Home. Hi everyone, welcome to Step by Step by Miriam Lesson 2. So NVDA reads out the first line to let me know that my cursor is currently at the top of my screen, at the very top of the file. Now, normally if you open a file that you've been working on, you do not want to start editing at the very top. You probably want to continue where you left off. So as soon as you open your file, you just press Control and End. Blank. Blank. And you can hear it. You're now on a blank line. Now, a few things that I would like to show you with uh, a few of the fun functions that I would like to show you with using the NVDA screen reading software. Um, if I want to type something, we'll say, in a different font style, there are many different font styles, just as there are many different types of notes to music. And this would, they would all have different looks and a different feel to them. We're currently using Times New Roman, size 12, and this is the name of a font and the size of the font. If I now want to continue typing, but I don't particularly want Times New Roman, someone has requested that I should maybe use Arial font size 18, then I must change that. I have to tell the computer that I want to now change that to Arial size 18. So to do that, I'm going to press my Alt key, followed by H for my Home tab, and then followed by FF for font. So that's Alt H, FF. Then I'm going to use the down arrow because there's a list that falls down. So to navigate down through the menu of the fonts, I'm going to down arrow through them. So it's Alt H F F down arrow to change my font. Ready? Ribbon to R, ribbon property page, ribbon tab tab control, phone tab selected Alt H H H 
F F Home property page font toolbar font combo box change the font face edit alt page F F selected times new Roman it's selected so now I'm going to use my down arrow times new Roman book antiquer aerial black selection removed heat Cambria Cambria Calibri heat and aerial book antiquer aerial black selection removed selected aerial black so I press my enter key. NVDA file.docs, Microsoft Word document edit multi-line, page one blank. 